Hello, hello friends. Welcome to the release and review video for Honeybee Stamps Happy Hearts release. This is the January 2023 release. And as always, disclaimer, I am on the Honeybee Stamps design team. They send these products to me. I don't have to do the release and review videos, anything like that. I just like doing them to run through all the products. You guys like watching them. So we'll just keep doing this, but disclaimer, as always. So tons of really good products. I have everything here, I think, except for one set, I think. I will always, like always, have links below. I'll link to the release. I'll have all the products. Um, if you go to my blog post, which is always the first link, in the description box below the video. Um, I'll have picture links to everything, easier to navigate, all that stuff. So even if I don't show it, it'll be there. So there are some Valentiny products. A lot of it is more sort of open-ended, which is really nice, um, especially because their release sadly got delayed because just life, man. There's all a million different factors. So let's just dive into it and see all the fun things. So first off, this is really cute love potion jars stamp set. There's a coordinating die set that will die cut these. This will pair really nicely with um, the Halloween set that came out back in the fall. And it had the like potion jars. As soon as I saw this, I was like, ooh, you could like mix and match with those ones as well. Plus there was those shaker, um, the shaker set as well. And I'll, I'll link, I'll, post it all next to this so you can see what I mean but as soon as I saw that I was like oh yes because we've got this and then there's a separate stamp and die set this is the love and luck potion labels and there's just a bunch of really cute labels and again this isn't specifically like valentine's we've got birthday healing potions that'd be really cute for a get well card courage luck wishes fairy dust love friendship you know just like Totally open-ended. Love it. There's coordinating wafer dies, so you can die cut these and you'll know, place the label on them. I love the shape of these too. I think they're so cute. So we've got those. Absolutely adorbs. Then we've got the um, love, love, love sentiments. So you've got a solid, an outline, and then a bunch of um, scripty sentiments. So you can build different phrases like Love you so much. Love you bunches. Spreading a little love. Sending love. Love our friendship. Love us. You know? I like that. It's cute. There's also, and I keep these like packaged together because it just makes sense to me. There's the wafer die. And this is an A2 size wafer die. So there's a coordinating die set for this that is just cutting out all of the little companion sentiments. So you could just stamp this or heat emboss it. And then add a little sentiment. Die cut it. Stick it on top. And then there's the Love A2 cover plate, which is super fun. You could totally, if you really wanted to get fancy, you could put foam strips in between these and do like shaker elements because there's enough space for like, you know, the more narrower foam strips. That could be really fun. Back this with pattern paper, all the fun things. So yeah, like I said, I keep, I'm keeping these together because they just, it just makes sense to me to keep some of these certain sets together that just coordinate so well. So I'm just gonna stick it there for now, deal with it after the video. So we got that. Then we have a hot foil plate. We have the foiled fluttering hearts, hot foil plate. And those, again, if you watch my videos, you know I am loving hot foiling. So I thought this would be super fun. I like, I just like the pattern. You know, they're not like specific, you know, or the exact same. I just think it's cute. And again, this can work for just about anything. So we got that. There is a fabulous little stencil set. This is the Hearts in Bloom stencil set, and it is four layers, and they all line up to create this adorable pattern. And I'm pretty sure the guides, and there are some with other ones, come with these products now. However, if it's an older product, some of the different things, like some of like the lovely layer sets, etc. If you go onto like the Honeybee website, they have 
the the files and things that you can that with the listing so you can take you know a screenshot of it or download it and print it out and then you can have those guides with a stencil set usually it's kind of whatever but yeah i like that i i'm i am also very visual with all the things that's why i do what i do but i also like to see everything else too so we've got that one and then we have the damask a2 cover plate this one cuts out some pattern i'm not even sure i'm not even 100 percent sure if this cuts at all or if this just embosses because i haven't even had a chance to do anything yet but yeah just gorgeous and there is this fabulous damask stencil that will i think it lines up with the actual plate too you guys won't really be able to see it very much on camera because the stencil is clear. I'm just seeing if this actually like, oh yeah. Yeah, they will work together. They will work together. So you can use them on their own, like you can use just the stencil, you could use just the plate. Or they will, They the patterns do line up. So they will work together, which is, I always like that. Always. So you got those. And we have a couple standalone die sets. We have the terracotta planters. I know a lot of people are really gonna love this set. I'm already, I've got just some ideas. I have some ideas. So you can fill these with different like little greenery items, you know, cause honeybees released a ton. There's more other things that'll come in this release that will work really well with these. So we've got the terracotta planters. We have a new Lovely Layers set. This is the Lovely Layers Pansy set. I love pansies. I, they're just such cheerful little flowers. Got a layering guide. I've shown in so many of my videos. I sound like a broken record. Honey Bee's Lovely Layer sets are unbelievably easy to assemble because if I can do it, anybody can do it. Basically the rule of thumb is just largest to smallest. <laughs> it's just, it just works like that. So, they create adorable little pansies. I got, love the two big leaves too. Love it. So we've got that one. And then this one, I was really excited. This is the Lovely Layers Strawberry. This will go with the terracotta planters. Love, love. So you got all the pieces to create these adorable bunches of strawberries. And it shows like the terracotta planters. There's also the wooden crate layering die set that was released. Is that the Christmas release? I'll have a link to it. These will work perfectly in that as well. Live, love. And there's a basket. There's a basket wafer die set too. Those will work with all the things. So we got that one. We have a couple of embossing folders. We have the Clover Petals embossing folder. Love the just detail. Just. I don't know, I just, I love it. So the Clover Petal one, and then this one is the Spring Medley. It's really pretty florals. Love. It's got that one. And then we have the Foil Script Love. And again, I love. <laughs> so you got your Hot Foil Sentiments, and it comes with the coordinating wafer dies. That just, oh, chef's kiss chef's kiss because especially with sentiments that was what I struggled with the most way back in the beginning when I started hot foiling is getting things lined up on the panels and all of that and it just drove me insane this way I can just hot foil I don't have to worry about anything being lined up and then I die cut when I'm done and it's perfect I love it I like these ones because you've got like generic sentiments you know big hugs hello with love you are so loved um hugs and kisses i adore you so again not specifically valentine's like these are just i will be reaching for these a lot so we got that one and this one i thought was really cute this is heart hugs aren't they cute they're such like quirky little characters especially the fox i don't know what it is about him i was like his little like triangle shaped body i was like yes I like him a lot. And then we got a little bear and a little hedgehog. Adorbs. Absolutely adorbs. They can be holding hearts or like balloons. So again, it can be birthday. You know, and really they can be holding hearts, but it could be anything. And you could like pair them with the potion bottles and make it a get well soon card. All those things. You know, just adorable. So we got that one. 
And then we've got this, a little note. There's a stamp set. Okay, there's, there's a lot in this one. I put everything together to make everything a little easier. So you have, there's a stamp set. There is a coordinating wafer die set that will die cut the banners. You can layer, create layered banners, all the things. There is a stencil set. You can use a stencil set on its own, or it does coordinate, of course, with these. So if you don't like to do coloring, the stencils will fill in all of the colors. So it'll be that if you use just the stencil or with the stamp, it has the stamped outline, you know? So again, I keep all these sorts of things together so that when I go to use the stamp set, etc., I've got the entire collection all in one. So there's that one. And then we've got this one. This is the friendship frame stamp set. This one does an A2 sized frame of all of these florals. And then we've got a bunch of sentiments and exactly the same as the last one. There is a coordinating wafer die set and the wafer die you can choose to do the outside or the inside or both. So you could do this and make it into like a shaker element, pop it up on your card, etc., or just have this die cut out the center, have your sentiments. There is layering stencils for this one as well. And same idea, you can do just the layering stencils to create this floral frame, or you can use it to fill in the stamped image and not have to color it. So options. We, we like options. I do. Hopefully you guys do too. <laughs> so I've got that one. And then we have this simply stated stamp set. So we've got a couple of little floral clusters. This one's got a banner. This one has a little tag and then a whole bunch of different sentiments and they're all curved to fit on the banner. And then there's little ones that would fit on the tag like hugs, hello, friend, etc. Best wishes, love you, thank you, anniversary, Mr. and Mrs. You know, just tons. Even little hearts. You could stamp little hearts on there too. There's a coordinating wafer die set that will die cut everything as well as the sentiments and a separate banner wafer die. So you could stamp the sentiments and die cut them with the banners and create a separate banner. So if you want to use like this image and have, you know, add a banner over it or use it with other images. Like there's another set that these sentiments will fit well with as well. So again, options. I like that a lot. The more options, the better. It just makes things more enjoyable in my opinion. So I got that one. And then yeah, a bunch of those sentiments and those banners will fit nicely with this size of these images. So this is the just for you stamp set. So again, you've got little clusters, a little strawberry cluster. Super cute, super cute, super cute. I love this font too. So yeah, just for you, thanks. Hi friend, hello. Love it, we got some little crafty items, you know? How cute is this set? There's a coordinating wafer die set that will die cut everything as well. Then we have some sentiment sets. Lerf. So this one is, it's always been you. I learned what love is from loving you. Loved you yesterday, loved you still, always have, always will. Love, love. I love you more than my morning coffee. <laughs> so yeah, you are my person. That's a great one just to send to a friend. Like love is friendship set on fire. I love you so very much. Like these are just great. Again, I like the mix. I just I like the mix fonts. Again, anyone who's watched me for a very long time, you might remember I used to have my own stamp line in another life way, 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 way back in the day, back before technology was a thing, really. I'm not even joking. Um, and I just, I love that. I just, I can't even add up the amount of hours I used to spend going through fonts and mixing, matching, all that kind of stuff. So I just, I've always been big on sentiments, fonts, all of it. And Honeybee is one of the companies that definitely does a good job. There's a good mix and there's just, I love it. So coordinating wafer dies with this set as well. And you guys know, I love having my coordinating wafer dies for sentiments for the same reason as the other things. I don't have to sit and fiddle and line things up. I can just stamp it, 
die cut it, stick it on my card. <laughs> and I love that. So we have that one. And then we have the Eura Keeper sentiment set. This is another, this is just a great one. Your friendship keeps me going. So thankful you are my friend. Hello, crafty friend. So that like a lot of these go, would go nicely with this too. You never cease to amaze me. You are such a gem, you know? Love it. Courting wafer dice as well. And then this one, it's another mix of fonts that I just oh, love. This is the best of everything stamp set. You always know how to make me feel better. You aren't alone. Get well soon. You bring a smile to my face. Th thank you for always being there. Um, wishing you the best of everything. You know, just a good mix. Coordinating wafer dies. No. I know, I say it a lot. Cute used to be my big word that would upset some people. And they're like, oh, can you say anything other than cute? Okay, I quit. Now I say love. I love everything. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Let's get the last of the goodies out. I'm so excited. So there is also, and I don't, crap. I don't have it in front of me. I'll post an image of it. It's a uh, layering, um frame die set. It's very ornate. I think it's ornate is ornate part of the word. It'll be up here. That set was released. It wasn't in the packaging. Um, I will have a link to it though. It's very fancy. It'll go with all the different things. It's just a fun set. So there's that one. And I'm not sure if there's anything else I might be missing. But like I said in the beginning, if I did, I will have links. It's all good. So then we've got pattern paper. Pattern paper for Amy to hoard. These are the like Happy Hearts collection. I like this. I like, we've got the, the Happy Hearts pattern paper. This is Gingham Happy Hearts. I always consider selections like this to be sort of um, the main one with the patterns. And then this, something like this, like the Gingham as my neutrals. If that makes sense, this is just how I see it. And then like the colors all coordinate so you can mix and match. And then I've said this in other videos, Honeybee's pattern papers are six inches by eight and a half inches, which I really love because you can cut these in half and you'll have panels big enough for a two A2 card friends. So I've been pestering them for bigger. I was like, you know, 12 by 12 would be nice. It is more difficult though, and with shipping and just all the things. So I'm still, I'm more than happy. You know, they they made them bigger than six by six. So I'm still super pleased. So this is the Happy Hearts pattern papers. I love the colors. I love the patterns with cute little strawberries and just, oh, it's all so adorable. And I love it. I love it a lot. I love the greens and the patterns, like some of it's really whimsical and just super fun. I love these like gray and white ones. Oh, that that's houndstooth, right? Love, 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 really cute. So those are the patterns. And then this one is the gingham happy hearts. And it's just the same color family, just with gingham prints. So yeah. Love them. They're just fabulous. We got some blacks and grays, some neutrals to go in there. And then of course we got some bling. Can't not have the bling. So we've got the Happy Hearts gem stickers, the Happy Hearts pearl stickers, and these are all self-adhesive. So you just stick them on. And then these ones, you guys will not be able to see this in video, but these are the crystal glimmer enamel stickers. They have the teensiest little like iridescent shimmery glitter in them and they're just little and I am 100% gonna hoard these. I need to get about 30 packs of them because yeah these would look really cute ooh, with the strawberries or just any of the flower die cuts these would look really cute as almost like little dew drops you know and they just again they got the teensiest bit of glitter in them. They're so cute I love it. I love it. Okay okay now about gem stickers let's get to the really fun stuff. <laughs> wax seal goodies not gonna lie I like jaw dropped when I opened the package and I was like yes okay if you're not aware if you're not aware I love wax seal everything I have been collecting them for quite some time now um I don't even know who to blame 
it's actually some of you guys I have to blame because doing like Happy Meal hauls and people sending me letters and cards uh, with wa like actually wax seals on you know the envelopes and stuff and that just started my you know journey and then yeah Honeybee started releasing products other brands started releasing wax seal products and I was like yas Yas, yas, please. So, Honeybee has released their own little wax melting furnace. I've shown how to use these in videos. You just put a tea light underneath it in your spoon. I will link to my wax seal playlist. There's actually not a whole lot of videos in there, but I've done um, I've done an entire video on the ins and outs of wax seals and explaining things and all that fun stuff. So, Honeybee now has a wax melting furnace, which can never have too many. I, cause you know, I'm, you know, yeah, you know, you know. So we got that one. And then we've got three new uh, wax stampers and all of Honeybee's wax stampers are just fabulous. So we've got Happy Mail, With Love and Handmade. Just cute. And I love because they're, you know, the fonts that Honeybee uses and stuff too. So everything's all like matchy matchy and that just makes me really happy. So we have those. And then we have the Happy Hearts Honeycomb Wax Melts. So these colors, of course, go with this collection. So again, everything's kind of matchy matchy. And these just make me happy. They do. Don't eat them. They do look like candy though, but don't eat them. They're wax. <laughs> so yeah, super, super fun, super cute. And then the other thing they, they released, which I was super excited about, wax seal stickers. Because for the vast majority of us, we like to make our wax seals like on the honeybee mat. I'll link to that as well. I really love that. Um, to like make them separately versus pouring wax directly on your project. I've done it a couple times. As I get more comfortable with it, you know, you get more okay with taking that risk. However, most time it's more fun to do it separately, make your little wax seals. But adhering wax seals to finished cards, etc., is kind of a pain. And I've dealt with, I've addressed that in my playlist, different things. Um, but yeah, Honeybee has these adhesive circles oh yeah interesting so yeah they are perfectly sized like they will you know stick down a wax seal and it says on the back they're um make your wax seals let them cool completely then use you can attach it using one of their wax seal stickers for the perfect embellishment they're permanent 3m brand quality they are i don't know like I can't explain it, but I can see a little grid line even in these. So these are, these are nice and they're super thin. Like I was, I, I just assumed they'd be kind of chunkier, which wax seals already, you know, at a chunk of dimension. These are really thin. I like these. I'm going to be getting a whole lot more of them because yeah, love it. Love it. So hopefully I explained everything. Um, this is the release in a nutshell. Like I mentioned, multiple times check out the description box below i'll link to the release i'll have individual links i'll link to my blog post all the things um if you stay tuned to the end of the video i'll have a link to my wax seal playlist uh probably my valentine playlist whatever's going on at the moment and yeah i will have links to my social media as well my facebook page my instagram all of that info is always directly linked below all my videos thank you all tons for watching, taking the time to watch my videos, for thumbs upping and commenting, subscribe if you haven't, love to have you. Got a great little crafty community going on here and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.